Welcome back to my Let's Play Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines, slightly modded. Now let's go on out and see Tripsy what he's, what he's got, because Mercurio told us he sells guns, which is handy. Okay, let's go on over. Okay, Mr. Trip. Thanks for coming back. What you need? I heard I could pick up some guns here. Oh, oh damn it. Who told you that? The courier told me. All right. Look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. I don't catch my drift here. Yes. I totally understand. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. <laughs> it's funny you happen to say that. I happen to be wiping off some dirt on my nose. <laughs> Lol. I appreciate your service. You can trust me. Well, all right. Come and take a look, then. Wow, the gun store's amazing, mate. Best shopkeeper in town. Oh, wait a second. He is the only shopkeeper in town. Oh, pop a blood brand. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, we're looking for a particular guy that's got a side quest. So I've a full immersive RP role playing experience, that's not me. So, but this does, that's still not what my channel is. It'd be partly, but that's what I do is partly. It's going in here, she's in here. Ooh, what do we have here? Yeah. Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? Mmm, you smell new, a little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? You scare me. Are you taking the mickey? <laughs> Who are you? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Whenever anyone annoys me, the world runs away. But, eh, we got all our talent. You're a bit of a tease on you. Who are you? I am Jeanette, and this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Soon can come soon enough, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> sucks, bro. What sucks? Mayhem, bro. So what you know, ass, mate? You're just a straightforward poophead. Mayhem, bro. She said mayhem, bro, I hit you one more time. I'll break your neck. What? What are you doing up here, dude? Never seen you up here before. Weird. Need something, pal? Look for someone. Oh, man, wait. Say that again. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, you. You're a vampire, aren't you? What, vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Oh, come on. Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh, man. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just want to talk. All right, let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I it's knew you were... Handle. I just could tell. I, oh, man, this is great. And then I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man! <laughs> Hey, vampire, how do you know about this? I'm a ghoul. 
I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! BAM! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Yeah, well, oh my god my damn, damn mind. mind. I know that feeling. You said you're a ghoul, what is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire, vampire blood, blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> Did it break your mind when at the same time? <laughs> you seem a bit mental. Look at your eyes. You're like, wow. <laughs> you seem to enjoy it. It's awesome. Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. Just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. <laughs> nasty dude's wrist. What the heck? Oh man, his name's Bertram Tongue. I see. He's a Nosferatu. No kidding, small world. I'm looking for him. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I. Whenever he needs me, just, you know, appears. He just appears? What? It's crazy. He just appears out of, like, thin air. The first time he appeared, bam! Like to give me a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> oh, man. Especially how he looks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so he's one of those, like, strange-looking people I've seen in the theater. Oh, I see. What do you do for Bertram? Oh, man. Wow. Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. So what's the problem? Oh, man. This guy, this, this thing got wise to me. Now, instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like off in the distance watching me. He'll warp up next to me. Oh, man, then whoosh, disappear. How about I just kill him for you? Hell yeah. Right on. Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. I'll look into this for you. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Sounds good, Knox. I'll see you around. Who keeps talking in my ear, bro? Why is it this club? He's like talking into my eyes. My ears. Hmm. Am I going mad? Why is it new music? I need that answer. I'm going. Buy a watch. Okay, so we've got a driver license. Virtual Crumb. Now there's a guy, what is he called? Arthur Gilpatrick. Sent an email to me. Said he's around here somewhere. Not on the other street. Not down here. That's a smoke shop. There. Oh, they're open. Okay, we have a song playing. I will. I'm moving update into my mod. I just. I don't know where it is. Hopefully, this video doesn't get flagged. Let's check out this new area. Okay. Good evening to you. Just looking around. Oh, that's nice. I'm a human nose. Hey, how you doing? Can I can I interest in you in something else besides smoking? Huh? That's a negative. You mean it okay. It's a very big negative. I stop that music. That's interesting, so let's go and find Gil Arthur Gilpatrick. Must be down here, only place left. 
That's a junk place. Demon Sayer. Yep. Aha! I'll forgive Patrick's very bones here. 150 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. Hello there. How you been? Fine, thank you. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Caller, you've got the first shot at dead tonight. You run this place, I assume? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. How been is these days? Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. Do you have any people bail jumping? Of course, goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on him. Could be interesting. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, whatever. Is the bounty hunter you have good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Can you find another bounty hunter? Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I could look for him. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Thank you. I'll see you later. What, does he think he's an alien? Okay, now. The apartment, that must be a real cook. Mercurio lives. So that's why the one opposite him. Let's go and find out. Pardon me. Pardon me again, so what? Uh, Here we are. Yep, it is. Nice. Oh, we're in. Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Maybe uh search skill is free. <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. It definitely does. Can we hack it? Yes. Enter. Uh, location of Jimmy, you know where the key is. That's right in front of our face. It's like, hmm, key over there. What it is? Can I look? Pick it? No! And this book, I'm going to sell it. Because this is a bounty hunter's room. So I imagine it's a book for firearms. And I don't use firearms. And to spend one point in research to figure out what it is, doesn't seem like it's worth it to me.
But before we start that trip, we get this quest done. Now, um, what does the general say? Oh no! We went there for the blinking driving license! <sighs> and then we just got the quest and forgot about it. Oh wow, well, why do I need to go with this? Oh yeah, I gotta use the key to the place on there. Did tell you on the screen mark. My bad, sorry. Okay, that's a bit buggy. Didn't touch nothing, didn't do it. Here we go again. Okay, Crumb of Virgil, so A to F. C I U M B B. Born written on the third the twenty fifth of the of two thousand two, I'm assuming. Two uh, count of public disturbance, drunk and nudity, case seven six seven six six one four one bound amount. 5k type of bound cash paid in full notes local void subjects corpse identified being held at the medical clinic morgue authorization notification next to kin oh he's dead that makes things a bit more complicated so let's go and see then Date? Not with you, no thank you. Don't know what I can catch. I was just saying that I can't catch them when I'm a vampire. I have my immune diseases. Okay, I uh, best go for the side. Hey, need a date? Go away! Okay, the morgue's downstairs. Yeah, the voice is down here. Come here, and remember rightly, in the other video we seen it. We were seen here. We went through here. And there is the morgue. There he is, virtual crumb. You're not the best health. Upside you're dead, but uh body shape. <laughs> you didn't eat very healthy. Biscuits. I'm sniffly with it. Take that and oh foxy boxes. You've seen that a minute ago. Get game. Another mod needs making. Fix that. Okay, sorry. Three bomb. Okay, now we got foxy boxes, and we've got a tattoo parlor. 
Yeah, Tattoo Parlor and Foxy Boxes we need to go in. Okay. We go down here, we got Tattoo Parlor. We'll go in there first then. Cool. Those are tattoos. Or tattoo designs, I should say. Nice artwork. That's a very clean one. You'd, you'd never know, and then just know. That would cost an absolute fortune to put that on you. That's insane. That was pretty insane too. That's got so many colours. That's cool. Cool. Okay, I'll phone that person then, okay. Hi, is that... Thank you. Hi, is that Gimbal Prospectics? Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? Okay. Oh, I am using his phone, but he doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? I don't know, actually. Did he have some kind of appointment? Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modelling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Really, maybe I could do modelling for him. I mean, instead of him. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Be doing a tick. I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Ah, uh, yeah. I messed it up a bit. Okay. Okay, down the end of Main Street. This is Main Street, down Second Street. There's a sign tells you in the car park. And then go around the corner. Gimbal's Prosthetics. Aha! No one coming down here. We spoke on the phone a minute ago, you said I could come out for some modelling. Oh, right, right, I'll buzz you in. Cool. Hello, welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modelling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Nice to meet you, Stan. I'm ready to get started if you are. Aha! An eager participant. Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Okay. Um, but I've always got folks' hands, but that's the matter. Um, yeah, creepy. Let's let me get my equipment ready. Why are you saying it like that? Hmm, that's a bit weird. Hmm. Say game time again, I'm not waiting, I ain't got patience. At least he... Creepy, and I don't trust him. Ah! 
That's not good for the record, play the record. Oh well, any stupid record. What about in the fridge? Hopefully blood. Yay, blood! I always want blood. Oh yeah, um, go away from the game man and just let people know. Because I bet a lot of people don't know this. If you ever having trouble to get up somewhere uh, or get past something, do you know you can actually duck jump in this game? I swear you can. I'm not lying. See? But normally you can't get up there. There you go. But there is a duck jump though anyway. Because you can jump on people's heads. Makes them fall over. So what do we have here? Eh, nothing in there. Of interest. Was right. Don't trust this guy. What kind of proper professional leaves a mess like that? Where is he? A more mess here. Is this over here? Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Gimbal. Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Oh, I'll open that door for you. What are you doing here? Um, I don't know, maybe for the modeling job you done, bum. Game. Sorry, but... Why is the Melino set up? I set that up, I swear I set that up. That could be done, but... Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. I see. You're Carson, I take it. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kip Arthur Kilp Arthur Kilpatrick sends me. I hate that last name. Kilpatrick. That's a tongue tire. He did? Oh man, did. that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. <laughs> get him back. <laughs> you may want to reword that dude. He's got work for you back in the office. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. Oh. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand that. It makes me feel fiddly using a gun. I assume you use a gun. Yeah, he's a trigger finger, of course. Thanks again. Sorry. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Stumpy? Who's Stumpy? Oh, your finger. Why do you call your own finger Stumpy? <laughs> it's like a party trick. Da da! Stumpy! <laughs> a strange person. Ah. Now yeah, I might get hungry. Why is there blood in there? I don't know, you never know. <laughs> I'm a gangle, I suppose. The beast within me. Yeah, nothing in here. Game. Yep, yeah, I've decided to. After hours and hours of playing, I am going to install another mod. No, the, well, I don't know if it's a mod. I've got to look at this video where, this, where uh, YouTuber Gophers talks about it. Where when I leave, I leave go forward now. He doesn't stop forward, so when I go around the corner, that's why I bang into walls. Because he doesn't stop, so I slide around the corner like on my eyes. It's annoying, to be honest. Like, like that, I can't get level with the door. We have a very small amount of time left, so we can go back to Arthur Kilpatrick 
and hand in the quest. Tell him that. Since being dead, my memory seems to be a bit funny. Hmm. Hopefully, that's not permanent. Tell him that. Let me check my little book. That Carson won't be coming back because the guy cut his finger trigger off. His trigger finger. What's shaking? I found I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? <laughs> His trinket finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. That is bad if you use a gun. If you just hit them with a not hit them with a melee weapon, then you don't have a problem. But uh, we don't all use melee. Sorry, but can you pay me now? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about <laughs> that. Uh, here you are. Thanks, you were saying? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long. Put in on three warrants. His okay. girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Yeah, sounds good. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Do you mean look for find out where he is or information or what? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just okay. find out if he's here or where he went. I'll okay. pay you. Deal? Done. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. You're not one of my neighbors. I live in there. What's the guy's record? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges Sorry. years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, okay. he's been in and out for this and that. Small-time yeah. stuff, mostly. Bit, bit of a hooligan, then. Well, I'll go and have a look into that. Thank you, Arthur. And I've got to go, guys. So I'll see you guys again for the next part of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline. Slightly modded. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the, link, in the description below is a link to all my mods. Bye for now.